Hi there, I'm Paddy Byrne. It's Friday lunchtime and the weather is a bit crap for skydiving, so I just thought I'd do, uh, rather than make a video, just do a bit of a live stream on what I've learned about uh, cold out service in the past wee while. Uh, let me just bring up my slides. So, it's a new format, so, <laughs> so what could go wrong? Let's have a wee look. What, what the idea is that I'll do a wee presentation, maybe no more than 10 minutes. Just to let you know what I've done, it saves me doing a, a creating a video and editing a video. So we're going to speak about diarization. Um, in this very short presentation, I'll explain how to enable diarization in Azure Cognitive Services to speak to text batch transcription service. Um, in order to do so, we need to enable two properties and a REST request to true. And those two properties are the ones that are on the screen now, or they should be on the screen now. Uh, world level timestamp enabled and diarization in enabled. But first, I want to explain a bit about what speaker diarization, is because I was a term that I was unfamiliar with. I just, you know, I'm, I'm drilling through some of the Azure Code of Services stuff. I see these properties and I thought I'd have a bit of a dig. So let's talk about what diarization is. Speaker diarization, is a combination of speaker segmentation and speaker clustering. Speaker segmentation aims at finding out just finding the speaker when the, the speaker change points and so it looks at the audio stream, it finds out where the speaker change points are. Speaker clustering, that aims at grouping together speech segments on the basis of speech characteristics. So dialization allows us to segment our results according to the speaker's identity. Now, that's not to be confused with speaker recognition, because speaker recognition tells us who the speaker's true identity are. So it's not going to say, this is Paddy speaking. It's not going to recognise that it's me that's speaking. It's going to say, who, it just helps you answer the question of who spoke and when. So it's not speaker recognition. To analyse what effect enabling the properties world level timestamp and diarization has on our output, let's first look at the output of our transcription request Let's look at what the output of a transcription request looks like with both of these properties set to false. As always, you know I'm a wrestling fan. There's always a wrestling analogy in there or a skydiving one. We're going to run through a wrestling promo of Mr. Perfect and Bobby the Brain here and through the batch transcription service. And let's have a look at what the output of that, of the output we get from that. Um, I'm only going to play a few seconds at the end, so I'm not going to I'm going to spare you the full promo, but it's just really to show you that there are two clearly defined speakers involved in this audio clip. Piper, Madison Square Garden, you're going down! Bring your skirt! Oof, bit of a derogatory, bit of a derogatory speech against there from Bobby the Brain Heenan about people wearing kilts. But that's not the point. The point is that there's clearly two speakers speaking there. The reason I use wrestling promos is because they're very outspoken and clear and they work really well to demonstrate um, AI and in particular the cognitive services, Azure Cognitive Services. So let's have a look at the output of the transcription that the transcription service provides us when both of these values properties are set to false. So I've set the, the rest request. If you looked at what if you want to see how I do this, look at my previous videos and, and Power Automate. So I use Power Automate and I create an HTTP REST request and I hit the Azure Cognitive Services batch transcription service and uh, send my REST request to that and then I, I look at the results. So in this example, we've set both these properties to false. I'm just going to pull up the output. I'm not going to run the flow live for you. So here's one I prepared earlier. Um, we have the both set to false. And the bit that we are interested in is this recognized phrases part here. Um, and if we look at the display, it's just one big stream of text. And that's because it's not recognized different phrases. It's a very fast promo that. So he's speaking really fast and then the other guy jumps in. Bobby the, uh, sorry, Bobby the Brain starts. Mr. Perfect jumps in and talks. It doesn't recognize the speakers and it just has one stream of text. And there's that bit at the end you have Mr. Perfect saying you're going down and then Bobby here saying bring your skirt. It thinks it's the same person. It's in the same segment. So next, let's set word, word level timestamp enabled to true. And the reason we're doing that is because you can't have speaker diarization without word level timestamp enabled first. So we're just going to enable that property first and I'll have a look at the output. And again, just using Power Automate, we've just amended our HTTP REST request for word level timestamp in equals to true. So this is the output we get. We look at our recognized phrases and we've still got the same display in one 
one string of text, but for every word that it recognizes, it's got a timestamp on it. That's that's quite good, but that's not we're business application consultants or or users. That's not that good to us, um, and 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 that doesn't offer much benefit of that. So the next thing we'll do is we will set diarization enabled to true. So again, back to our flow, change your HTTP REST request to true, and then we'll run the flow again. And the output we get from that is a wee bit different. We have this other property in here, speaker, and it's a speaker property and it says one. So again, we're looking at recognized phrases, the extra property is speaker, and it says that we've got speaker one. And we didn't have that in either of the two outputs previously. And then if we look at the display and our recognized phrases, we have someone talking, which is Bobby the Brain Hearing. He talks away first. We have the word level timestamp still, but as we scroll down the page, oops, I think I missed it actually. Yeah, so we've got, um, no, no, we've got uh, Bobby the Brain Hearing speaking. Scroll down the page past all these words. Oops, that's because we're on the wrong file. I said, what could go wrong? Right. So, so this is the file with both equal to true. We have um, speaker as one. We have Bobby the Brain Heenan um, shouting to the camera. And then if we scroll down, we've got speaker equals two. So it recognizes that there's a second speaker there. Not who it is, it just says that there's someone else speaking. And then we'll look at the, the output of that. And that's Mr. Perfect given his promo. And if we scroll right to the end, we also have another one. And that is Bring Your Skirt. Again, Bobby Hain, Brain Hainan slagging off Roddy Roddy Paper for wearing a kilt. He says, Bring Your Skirt. And that's, you know, that's this terrible language, terrible derogatory term against me, a fellow Scot who, who has worn a kilt at times. But you can clearly see that that separated that out into a separate segment or a separate recognised phrase. And let's have a look at what we've got with our output. So if we jump over to, so what I do, and if you look at my previous videos, my, my flow picks up those recognizes phrases and it puts it, it puts them together into a string, but it puts um, paragraphs into, and, and new lines into each of the, after each phrase, after each recognized phrase. The first one we get, and the output and text file, we just save it to OneDrive, just from doing it to make it easy for ourselves, is again, just one big string of text. There's no segmentation in there. The, the second one we get out, because we've got um, speaker diarization, it splits it out and makes it a bit more readable. So we can see the first string of text, when Bobby the Brain here speaking, we see the second string of text, when Mr. Perfect speaking, and then we see it split into the last bit with Bobby the Brain again. You could possibly put in the, the speaker names in there as well. So you could put speaker one and speaker two to identify which speaker is speaking. And if you look at that, that looks slightly better than that. And, you know, if you had a lot of text that rather than have one big stream of text or even it just, it just helps you segment your, your, your output. So let's just jump back to the side. That's really it for diarization. I'll just summarize. So, yeah, so uh, we've looked at the text files and the flow that, uh, that we've generated from our transcription results. We can see that there's a big impact there, a big change. And uh, so enable word level timestamps and diarization can benefit our business applications immensely because it provides a bit more control when segment, segmenting the output text from the transcription. But there's some limitations um, in the di in speaker diarization when it comes to Azure Cognitive Services batch transcription. That's quite quite a mouthful. Uh, one of which is that the service can only recognize a maximum of two speakers. So if you've got sp four speakers in your audio clip, it's only going to recognize two. You won't get speaker three and speaker four up. Um, again, in business application world, that might be fine because you may be recording uh, testimonies or maybe record your recordings or maybe phone calls with which only have two speakers. And um, that's all for me this lunchtime. Uh, if you want to join in one of these lunchtime chats, get me on LinkedIn down the bottom and send me an IM, show something cool maybe. Um, it's Friday lunchtimes, come in, show something cool that you've learned this week. Um, or just have a chat about something I, that, I, that I present. And then um, 
I will see you next week. Oh, yeah, don't forget to like if it helps and subscribe. Because once you subscribe, hit the subscribe key, it'll subscribe to the channel. You won't miss any future lunch or learnings, tutorials or demos that I post going forward. So until next time, blue skies.